oral drug administration is the most common delivery route and it's also the key focus of drug development and delivery. Out of 10,000 drugs that are being newly discovered, only one drug would get approved by the FDA. And that's because 90% of those drugs would fail uh, stage three clinical trials. And so there's a better need for preclinical trial tissue culture models that would accurately predict what happens to those drugs in the intestine. In the 1980s, a 2D permeability assay was developed that uses a flat membrane with an um, epithelial cell layer grown on top of it. Those cells are known as KQ2 cells. And a concentrated drug solution would um, be placed on top of the cells and the concentration of drug that permeates through the cell layer and the flat membrane would then be measured. Up until now, this is the most widely accepted standard for in vitro permeability measurements. But the problem with this assay is that its 2D nature and the static nature of the assay do not allow it to accurately predict what happens with the drug in the intestine. And so there's a need for a better model that captures the complex physiology of the intestine and has the capacity for dynamic flow. And the point of, uh, and the goal of my project is to um, develop a more biomimetic model that um, captures this complex physiology. So it would consist of a uh, tubular thin film scaffold made of a material called PCL. And um, a, a, a layer of KQ2 cells would then be grown on the inside of the tube. And a concentrated drug solution would then be pumped across the tube. And the concentration of the drug that flows out of the tube into a reservoir would then be measured. So um, this project relates well with IFER's mission of supporting the development and the validation of new scientific methodologies because this model will advance the way that pharmaceutical companies go about testing their drugs. And um, this model would also help decrease the need for um, animal models in um, testing drugs and it will also help save a lot of money that would otherwise be spent on drugs that will not be making it to the market.